So I'd like to start, first of all, by thanking so many of you for coming out this evening. We enormously appreciate it. Ourselves in the NUJ were anxious to meet this evening, particularly because, as, as many of you know, uh, Raif Badawi is due to receive the second of uh, 50, uh, the second of 20 sets of 50 lashes uh, in Saudi Arabia tomorrow. Now, we, there was a development uh, earlier on when we heard that uh, a team of eight doctors had recommended once again that he was unfit for flogging, uh, which has to be one of the most oxymoronic and obscene statements I've ever heard in a long time, that he was medically unfit to be flogged. Raif Badawi sits in a cell in pain, wondering when he is to be publicly humiliated, tired and beaten to a pulp again. Such torture is to be carried out by those who say they are appointed to uphold the law. His only crime is to dare write that Saudi Arabia might consider adopting a more liberal attitude or might even start a national conversation on this. Stop the blogging, not the blogging. Stop the blogging, not the blogging. We are here protesting outside the Saudi Arabian Embassy to challenge this barbarity. To say that whipping and flogging a chained man in a public square is surely a heinous crime in the eyes of any god or any prophet, any semblance of a democracy or any court where due process is at play. Raif is still imprisoned and battered for the so-called insulting of Islam. These international celebrities and despots were a distraction from the People's March in Paris. The Saudi presence at that time was stomach churning. As the country's own doctor said, Raif was so injured he could not take another beating. Free, free, Raif! Free, free, Raif! If we allow his suffering to happen in silence, if we allow him to be invisible, his government will continue to do to him what they did two weeks ago. They'll do it to him, they'll do it to countless others, they'll do it to women who have the temerity to believe that they can drive in that country, they'll do it to migrant workers uh, accused of uh, uh, crimes subjected to unfair trials as we saw last week and beheaded in public they'll continue to, vi to violate human rights in a gratuitous and disgusting way it takes people around the world ordinary people from across the world north and south to stand for human rights and we can force change even in countries like saudi arabia